Hello, in this session, we'll see corollary 3 of Euler's theorem, its formula and proof. So let's say if there is a function u in x and y with degree n where u may not be a homogeneous function but possibly there is a function z in terms of u which is homogeneous in x and y with degree n then in that case Euler's theorem says that x dz by dx plus y dz by dy should be equal to n times of z and also the corollary 2 which we have seen in the previous record as this says that for z being function of u where u may not be homogeneous we get the result x times of du over dx plus y times of du over dy equal to n times of f of u over f dash of u. Now if we say that n times of f of u over f dash of u becomes g of u overall then writing continuing this equation as g of u. So this is our corollary 2 which we have already seen and let us say this is equation 1. So differentiating this partially with respect to x we will have we can apply product rule here as both x and du by dx are function of x so it will be 1 times of du over dx plus x d2u by dx square plus since y will be treated as constant we will differentiate du by dy as y d2u by dx dy equal to d of g of u over d of x. Now applying chain rule here we can write it as d of gu du times of du over dx. So this will become taking du by dx on the other side it will be x times of d2u by dx square plus y times of d2u by dx dy equal to g dash of u du over dx minus du over dx. So basically this becomes g dash of u minus 1 times of du over dx. Let us say this is equation number 2. Now differentiating first equation with respect to y now we will have the first term which is having x du over dx x will be treated as constant so this will give x times of d2u over dy dx plus this y du dy will be differentiated in terms of chain rule as y and du by dy are all function of y. So this will give 1 times of du over dy when differentiating y and plus y times of d2u by dy square when differentiating du by dy equal to dg of u over dy and this can be written as dg of u du times of du over dy using the chain rule. So now taking this term on the other side we will have x d2u by dy dx plus y d2u by dy square equal to g dash of u 
डी यू ओवर डी वाई माइनस डी यू ओवर डी वाई सो दिस बिकम्स एक्स डी टू यू बाई डी वाई डी एक्स प्लस वाई डी टू यू बाई डी वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जी डैश ऑफ यू माइनस वन टाइम्स ऑफ डी टू यू टाइम्स ऑफ डी यू ओवर डी वाई लेट इस टेक इट एज थर्ड इक्वेशन नाउ x times of first equation plus y times of second equation will give x square d two u by d x square plus x y d two u over d x d y plus y x d two u over d x d y plus y square d to u over d y square equal to x times of g dash u minus one d u d x plus y times of g dash u minus one d u by d y. So now, since we know that d to u by d x d y will be same as d to u dy dx so this terms are repeated so we can take it as two times of it so this will give x square d to u by dx square plus 2xy d to u dx dy plus y square d to u dy square equal to Taking g dash u minus one common, we will have x times of d u over d x plus y times of d u over d y. So this gives x square d two u over d x square plus two x y d two u over d x d y plus y square d two u over d y square equal to g dash u minus one times of now from corollary two we have x times of du over dx plus y times of du over dy equal to n times of f of u by f dash u which we assumed to be equal to g u so that means our result here will be g dash u minus one Times of g, and this is the corollary three for Euler's theorem. So we have proved and kept the theorem here. So this is the corollary three on Euler's theorem, which has been verified here. Thank you.